Ryuki is supposed to be here? You were in charge of the HB case, weren't you? Did you know this doll can talk, Ryuki? He's my childhood friend. What? What are you talking about? It's me, Mario. Nice to meet you. He talks? When I see that ball, it reminds me of my boyfriend from high school. Yeah, you seem like the type who'd be into that. Reminds me of you, boss. Which part? I'm a sucker for anything shiny or black. What about cockroaches, boss? They're shiny and black. Okay, I'm reducing your salary. Oh. Ryuki, your heart rate is increasing. Don't tell me. You are imagining a woman's bathhouse, aren't you? Fantasizing about the shiny faucets? Why would that part be my fantasy? Uh, I haven't been on a board in a while. I wish I could go. I think you've fallen your ass plenty already. You want to hear some juicy gossip? I heard they got transferred to Lemniscate. Okay. <sighs> Good for them. Hey, I'm your superior, you know. You should all at least pretend you're interested. I heard that's Boss's grandfather. Don't fill his head with nonsense. That's not my grandfather. That's my grandfather's death mask. Not any less weird. How long are you going to keep that here? <sighs> Until I get a new boyfriend. Then it's gonna stay there forever. Date, I'm assigning you to Venezuela. Good luck! I found out what that rug actually costs, by the way. Something like 500 million yen. That's true. I confiscated it from a thief. Are you allowed to do that? What's wrong? You've been staring. Oh, it's nothing.
Maybe this case is like a Matryoshka doll. That sounds deep, but I don't think that has anything to do with this case. I remember Mr. Dante telling me, you like to hit that thing when you're feeling stressed out, right, boss? Oh, no, I wouldn't do something so brutish. I just throw it against the wall. That's even worse. That RC goes pretty fast. Oh? How fast does it go? Three million kilometers per second. The universe would collapse if that were true. <sighs> I'd like to smack your butt with that broom. Why? Hmm, 
Wooden ponies are my favorite. Y yeah. Tama, show me the news. That's not how you ask for a favor, is it? I beg of you, Lady Tama. Hmm, how about this? I said news, not nudes. <laughs> I see a stupid looking man's face. Like this. Don't worry, I'm fine. You're trying to convince yourself, aren't you? Poor Yuki, you're exhausted. It's all right now, because I am here! Half might, half for all, we are full-time heroes! Ryuki? You feeling okay? Maybe we should have a doctor take a look at you. Yeah, I'll try. You'll try? What the hell is that? Why don't you say it like you mean it, asshole? It's your duty to solve this case. This is why you're here, isn't it? I got it, Tama. You can close it. Nice and soft. It feels kind of soothing, being here. Anything to promote office wellness. What are you talking about? Well then, you won't mind if I join you. I'm kidding. What are you looking at, Ryuki? I, I was just looking at the round... Uh, the round... Pervert. No, no, no! That's not what I meant! You can touch him if you want to. No, you absolutely cannot. 
Wanna see it again? No. Thank you. What is it, Ryuki? The QR code on that sign was shown during the live stream, too. Yeah, quite clearly. That means it was seen by people around the world. They say the ViewCube video and the link got several million views. The account is already deleted, but you know how it is. People uploaded copies to other sites almost immediately. That means the actual number of people who saw it is several times greater. Anything strange happened since? What do you mean? Maybe a bunch of people being sent to the hospital after seeing the video or something. No, I haven't heard any reports like that so far. I see. Like I said, the uploader of the original video is unknown. What? You went to a host club in Kabukicho after the investigation, didn't you? Who would do such a thing? I mean, you usually do that. I went straight home last night. I can't be out drinking every night. My kid would never let me hear the end of it. I'm sorry, your kid? Yeah, my little girl. At least, I think she's a little girl. I didn't spot any dangly bits, so unless she says otherwise. I had no idea you had a daughter, boss. Neither did I. I didn't know either. Why'd you keep that a secret all this time? It wasn't a secret. No one asked. It hasn't even been half a day. No new info for you yet. Jin's left half hasn't been found yet either. Why did his right half burst into flames like that? We're still looking into it. But I was told they haven't recovered any mechanical or electrical pieces. So it wasn't a time bomb. Do you think it could have been spontaneous combustion? Who knows? Yeah, the entire country's been talking about it all day. Not just Japan, but the whole world. A body sliced in half suddenly appeared in the middle of a broadcast? And then there was that weird QR code, too. I'd be surprised if it didn't go viral. But how strange. There was a blackout before the corpse appeared, right? So why didn't the stream get cut off? Hmm? Is there something on my face? Well, um, the face you have now isn't your real face, is it? You got your old body back during the new Cyclops serial killings case, so... Yeah, well, I decided to have a custom mask made. Everyone knows me by this face. Besides, this one is, uh, more popular with the ladies. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Shut up! <laughs> Looks cool, doesn't it? I'm wearing the patch because Iva ran away from home. That's not the whole story, though, is it, Dante? You tried to watch a VR video of bikini girls splitting watermelons at the beach. I can't do this anymore! I am done being your partner! So Iva leapt out of Dante's eye socket and ended up at my place. So she's at your house right now? No, she's working on a top-secret mission. What mission? If I told you, it wouldn't be top secret. I thought you were on vacation. Yeah, new labor laws. I'm supposed to be on break. Then why are you here? Well, why not? I was bored, so I thought I'd come play darts. This is supposed to be a place of business. Could you not play around in here? What? This room is full of things to play with. I saw the news last night. I talked to Boss earlier too, so I know the gist of what's going on. A 
corpse suddenly appeared in the middle of a live stream, right? And for some reason, just the right half, like it traveled through time and space. Advice? I only give advice when I'm drinking, shall we? It's not even noon yet. Who cares? I'm on vacation. Well, I'm not. Come on, my treat, as usual. No, I'll just handle this myself. What? Drink with me. Okay then. Tama and I will continue the investigation. Oh, wait. Before you go, there's one thing I want you to be careful about. Abyss is having issues with the communication network right now. Any data obtained by your AI ball can't be uploaded to the cloud. Yeah, I can't do any backups right now. I can only save data inside my body's storage. So we'll be in big trouble if you break. Yes, any data saved from today on will be lost. Understood. We'll be careful. So, where do you plan on going first? I thought we'd start by asking around for more info. I haven't been able to talk to the people who are at the scene much yet. Mizuki, Iris, Moma, Chenpei, and Andy's Komeji, the host. Do you have their locations? Yes, I've obtained each of their locations through the GPS on their smartphones. First, Mizuki is at a place called Matsushita Diner. Ota's place. Iris seems to be on the campus of Sekiba High. Makes sense. She's a student there, after all. Moma and Chinpei are at the Kumakura office. Right, the Dragon and Lantern's place. And finally, Kameji. He seems to be on the rooftop amusement park at Misaton. Misaton? That department store in Shinjuku? Do you want to ride along for the investigation, Mr. Date? <laughs> I'm not gonna work on my day off. I'm not that bored. Bored enough to come here? There are many types of boredom. This is different. Well, Ryuki, I'm counting on you. Right. Leave it to me. Tama, you take care of Ryuki, okay? Always.
boss's cleavage. I have never been in a softer, comfier place. Pretty girls don't just fall from the sky. But a certain director once said that eroticism rains down from the sky. Worried about money? You're messing around, right? You don't really have worries, do you? Huh? You have no worries. Why did you come here? I guess that's possible. Thank you. Me too. I was starting to get feelings for you too. So please stay by my side. Please. Promise? If you sell me at a thrift shop, I'm going